Our Namibia road trip got scary yesterday when we discovered three lions. Let us explain. An African sunrise. It seems we have an issue with predators. What a long night, basically. First, we have to change camps to come here, set up in the dark. And of course, we put the tent right next to the car, like kissing, so that if I have to escape the tent, I can go from the tent to the car. Tell me that story, what happened? Walking the riverbed, super uh, nice sunset, taking some picture, I hear this growl. So, well, super deep voice, uh, can that be an uh, elephant out here? Great, uh, <laughs> look down there and the lion stares right at me. Probably 50, like 80, 80 meters away, 100 meters. Distance back to the car was double. So whenever I took a tiny little step back, he looked up. I waited till he looked away, took another step until it was, he was behind a bush and then I started running, that's when you saw me. <laughs> an antelope bouncing through the rocks. Wait, that's not an antelope. That's not an impala. That's Ben. <laughs> and you taking off with your flip-flops. Oh, a lion, great, where is it? These are trusty flip-flops, all terrain. But I had second thoughts and went back and got shoes. And then we did the car move, which was extremely smart considering when that lion saw me and he sprinted, I was certainly glad I had running shoes on and a car nearby. Let's go back there, see if we catch them this morning. I agree, let's go back and watch them from the safety of the car. Surviving the lion was pure panic. I survived just because I panicked and ran away. The problem was after surviving the lion, I wanted to spoon Ben. I wanted to sleep inside the car. But Ben said there was fine print in the contract that said no spooning allowed. So the second option was to sleep in the front seat and wake up with the chiropractic bill. The third option, which Ben thought was the best, was to put the tent right next to the car. I wake up and it's raining in my tent and I think, hmm, rain. I have to get outside in lion country and put the, the flap on. And then I think, wait a minute. Is the river going to flood? So do I get eaten by a lion or do I drown in the river? Mm, okay, okay, I'll take option B. Statistically, no one has ever been eaten by a lion inside the tent. They usually drag you outside to eat you. Yesterday was Tarzan day. I had my knife with me. I was not afraid until I saw him sprint and jump down those rocks. Obviously, these are active lions. 